it really kills me when I click on the tutorial that somebody talking too much. But we just trying to see what you're doing. Okay, that's it. We, we don't care about nothing else. Just get to the tutorial. We don't care about nothing else. straight into it um there's a few things that i wish i would have known going into this um i would not have put as many locks as i did in my head that was completely unnecessary i would have doubled the amount of water wave hair that i used um in all this was about 103 dollars i used the new locks and the model model water wave hair um definitely kind of hard to put up at night and to get in the shower but overall it's a really really cute hairstyle i sectioned my hair off and braided everything first and made the whole process way easier <laughs> uh don't ask me why i got this thing tied up like that i don't know just i need this out the way once the sections were completed it made everything else just go by faster. I made sure that I pre-prepped every lock. So that meant opening the lock, stretching the water wave hair, and putting the water wave hair through the lock. So you're gonna see me do that. As I suggested in the beginning, go ahead and buy the 36 inch lock so you're not sitting there and having to add on. I've seen on a lot of people's YouTubes, they, they're adding on hair. If you want them long, just buy the 36 inch ones. Um, makes the process go by way faster. And if you go ahead and just prep every lock like that, you're just gonna be literally just picking up and going, picking up and going. So definitely suggest just prepping everything to begin with. That means doing your braids first making that little lock um and water wave combo so when you get to this section it's just nice and easy as you can see i'm getting the crochet hook i am putting the crochet hook at the root of my braid i am putting the loop of the lock on the crochet and then pulling all the way through you're going to then take your braid Pull that through the loop and then pull the lock and as you can see right now I'm gonna get the long piece of water wave and I'm gonna wrap that at my root okay you're gonna make that as tight as you possibly can for me I had decided to put um, the long water wave hair around at least three to four times at the base just to secure it and make sure it was super tight because even when I had pulled through the braid and the lock and all of that, it wasn't as tight as I needed it to be. So that's what made it nice and secure was how I wrapped it at the very beginning. Once you get away from the base, you're going to continue to make sure that the water wave is like spread out as much as possible and continue to wrap all the way down. If you're going for the distressed look, which is what I was going for, um, it doesn't need to be tight. It doesn't need to be super tight. Okay, so I'm showing the same process again. Um, nothing different. And I want y'all to know why I am showing y'all midway through me doing this instead of from the first one because I didn't know what I was doing at the beginning be patient with yourself like I didn't know what I was doing even after watching videos I still didn't know what I was doing so just be patient with yourself bitch are you dumb pardon me are you dumb I think she's I dumb I think she's dumb I think she's dumb think are you dumb. like medically speaking are you like like I'm not trying to be mean like are you dumb are you d I think she's dumb I think she's dumb I think she's dumb I think is she do you oh, think she's she's, she's dumb, dumb. 
see me separate, you're gonna hold your braid, the short piece of the water wave, and the lock in one hand. Then you're gonna take the long piece of the water wave and start wrapping. Remember to keep it tight. We're keeping it tight at the base, okay? And then you can get all loose and whatnot to get the distressed look that you're looking for when you go down. And this is why I said that I would have doubled the amount of water wave hair that I got because I would have put two strands on each lock instead of the one that I did because I just feel like it would have made it look better. And I also didn't go all the way down. So you're also gonna see that. I did not go all the way down the 36 inch lock, okay? So I stopped wherever the water wave hair stopped. And for some reason it just looked okay to me, so. And I also didn't wanna go buy more water wave hair. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it looked fine, it looks good. I'll, again, I'm gonna show y'all at the end the complete look. But I think it looks good, so. My facial expressions. <laughs> about this is so funny like I think I was watching I was watching movies I was watching all types of stuff wow this really should have been a review on this movie that's what I should have did not no damn tutorial Chadwick is playing his ass off listening to music so I don't know why I was looking so serious I don't know just just look at me do the hair don't look at my face okay as we get to the end what we're gonna do is go back up the other way that's how we're gonna secure the water wave on the lock okay so I went down but when I got close to the end we went back up we wrapped it back up towards your root okay that's how we secure the lock. So more towards the end of my hair, I had started doing something a little different. I had actually started to get the braid and the short piece of the water wave hair and pulling it through the loop and tightening it, okay? And then I would, you know, continue the same method. I would hold the braid, the short piece of the water wave, and the lock in one hand, and then went around with that long piece of water wave. Also, I want to mention that when I would get down to my hair, like I know you can see kind of where my hair is in my hand, I made sure that it was very securely wrapped at the end. I didn't want it coming out. I wanted it to be protected. So I just made sure I covered it as best as I could.
everybody know that this it was not the last lock I had, but this was the last wavy piece I had. And guess how many left I have? Where's she at? Where's she at? One. By the grace of God, okay? Because I wasn't going back to the beach plus though. I just wasn't. I was not. It wasn't happening. Ugh, God is so good. I was not going back. Anyway, 